147,000 Ohioans are homeless annually. Throughout Fostoria and the surrounding areas, the average poverty rate is 11.5%. Homelessness in Ohio increased by 300% between 1985 and 1990. Out of a total population of 255,444 people in Seneca, Hancock, and Wood Counties, 26% consist of low-income families. Community has every ethnicity in it, every country, and every language, and we have to figure out how to work together because we're one human family. But there's also the community that is, um, I think, the greater church and the greater world. And I realized that when I went to Rome one time and um, and was there in St. Peter's Square, and all of the all of these people from all walks of life were there, and there was a sense of being a part of something so. You know, unbelievable that God has created you know, all of these people, all walks of life, of all different colors, you know, races, languages, and they all gather, and we're all part of that because we're all the one body of Christ. I, I think probably the way to describe it would be hope. You know, that there's so many uh, things that are happening in our world nowadays that are bad. When I see somebody like, you know, Phyllis Holderman at the, the soup kitchen, um, you know, here in Fostoria, I think, wow, you know, there are still good people who want to do good things for other people. And frankly, as a priest, it gives me hope. And as people of faith, we need to be about hope. When you find what matches your own gifts and talents, you enjoy it much more. Um, and sometimes you discover the gift in doing it. That's uh, that's a little drawback of the com stepping out of the comfort zone that's there. But um, if it can be sometimes passing on the gift that you know you do have, if you are um, good at music or gymnastics or whatever, can you teach that same skill to somebody else? Um, and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. But what you are excited about sharing that with somebody else might be the area of service a person is good at. You have to try. You have to see what's out there. Well, I think, you know, one of the most evil things that we have in our society nowadays is individualism. This whole sense that it's about me, it's about what I want, it's about what I need, it's about what I feel. And Jesus never said that, you know. Jesus always said, it's about us. We're in this together. He called us all the body of Christ, you know. And so when one member is down and out, the whole body suffers. You know, Jesus Christ was called our king, and yet he was a king who didn't wear a crown. He was a king who came to serve all people, and his ultimate act of service was dying on a cross for us because he loved us so much. Um, we're all called to that type of leadership. Not leadership that involves a lot of frills and privileges and, you know, glitz and glamour but leadership that involves serving other people. That's what we're called to do as Christians. Gemeinschaft Comunidad. Community.